What's up, my beautiful people? This is Kristen Peoples coming to you with BossOfCulture.org. I hope you're doing super fabulous today. I just cleared our space with some eucalyptus, so um, sending some positive vibes your way out the gate. Um, if you have clicked on this video, welcome. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time today because what I have to share is invaluable. I am giving you some of the classic signs, eight classic signs to be specific that you are a target of workplace bullying abuse. These are some of the things that you can expect. You guys, I always talk about this playbook that these people have, and you just need to be up on game as to what they're going to do. You, I always talk about playing chess when they're playing checkers, right? I'm always on the lookout for making the next move before my opponents do. And may, it's part of my nature. It's what I've always done, and I'm here to help you navigate and how to do that because oftentimes we get caught up and them checkmating us and so since you've been forced into this game well I'm going to show you how to win so let's start with a quick affirmation then we'll get straight to the message because you have places to go and so do I right we respect each other's time and so um I must say that this affirmation is quite fitting because when I was thinking about you guys as I was recording this video today I was saying, you know what? My beautiful people are awfully special. Like, seriously, you guys, the reason why you are targeted is because you are smart, you are brilliant, you are beautiful, people like you, you know what you're doing, and they're intimidated by you. So I consider myself an awesome company every time you join me because I know you're one of the greats. And that is why people are coming for you. People don't come for people that they're not intimidated by. People don't come for people that they, um, they're um they not jealous of or they feel like they're, uh, they don't, they're not as good as these people, right? So I am amongst the stars and I'm so honored to be here with my stars, my beautiful people. And it leads me to the affirmation that says this, you are the queen or king of your life. Treat yourself like royalty. You guys, if you are in a situation where you are treating being treated less than, move on. But it starts with you, and it's all about sovereignty. So remember, remember your crown, and when it gets a little bit crooked, fix it. And we're here for you. Just know that you are not alone in this. Bossofculture.org, we are all about supporting you in you being successful in your personal and your professional life. You guys, if I've skipped over this and you're new here, welcome. I'm just so excited to share this message with you today. Um, I am so honored that you have clicked on this video because here on this video, on, on this channel rather, we share all kinds of modalities and tips on how to navigate through a toxic work environment and how you can level up to be your best self. That is what we're here for and I am here to support you in that. So let's get straight to the eight signs. Um, and you guys, this information is also on my website, you know, so if I'm going too fast, be sure to go to bossofculture.org, take notes of this stuff so that you know, embedded in, embedded in your brain so you know what the game plan is. So, sign number one, you are giving continuous personal attacks. They are continuously attacking your character. I know for me, I was constantly being pulled into conference rooms and not necessarily being criticized on my work. But how my face looked in meetings, which I don't know how my face is supposed to look in a meeting, to the tone of my voice and how I intimidated people on the calls. Well, that sounds like a personal problem, right? So that is sign number one, how they, when they continuously attack you, attack your personality, attack who you are as a, a person. You are meant to be who you are. You are a unique individual and don't change for anyone. Always treat people with respect and treat people the way you want to be treated and they should be giving you that same treatment in return. Second, second sign, you are being given unrealistic workloads and timelines of completion related to your work and in relation to what your peers are being handed. I know for me, I was always given the nightmare programs, the stuff that people did not want to do or the programs in which people, uh, the, the person that I inherited the work from, they really messed it up and they needed someone to clean it up. So whenever there was a mess, 
I guess they consider me the cleanup girl because I was the one who was always selected to do that and everyone else was given the easy assignments. I was the one that was working nights and weekends. It sucked. And I want you to be able to notice that off the bat when work is being handed out, what, what are you being handed versus what your peers are being handed and how they're experiencing their work experience each and every day in comparison to yours. You're given restricted work schedules in which only you are required to adhere to as opposed to your peers. Again, for me, it got to the point where um, I had a manager that asked me my children's work uh, school schedules, which is personal, but um, because I was asked and I didn't want to be disrespectful, I shared it. And since I was a target, well, then a couple weeks later, um, my children's school schedule became an issue for um, as it pertained to my work. And so I was being told that I had to be to work at 7.30 in the morning when it was impossibly, possibly feasible for me to. And um, I had to take a lunch at a certain time and I had to leave at 3.30. So um, go figure the fact that I had to be in meetings in several buildings that overlapped. Um, I was not uh, afforded the opportunity. They gave the, um, they removed my right to be able to log on to meetings virtually, which my peers were able to do. My peers were dropping their kids off to school with no problems. And it apparently my peers' children didn't uh, didn't seem to interfere with their schedules, even though they were in line with my kids' school schedule. So my, my kids' school schedule wasn't any different from anyone else's. Um, I was also given um, non-value added meetings uh, added to my schedule that was purposely scheduled to take me away from these impossible deadlines. So what I did to combat that was I would let my manager know, hey, I know you gave me this assignment. It was due on this date. Um, is this meeting, is, it, is, is the meeting really re required that it's going to take me away from the work that needs to be completed? Nine times out of 10, it was, the answer was no for me because they were like, well, go ahead and get your work done. But it was purposely set up for me to, for me to fail, right, in, in terms of my deliverables. So... Um, I started sending my manager an agenda because she kept calling me and wanting to meet with me only to pull me in a conference room to tear me down about, again, the way my face was looking or someone thought that I didn't articulate correctly or something in a meeting. Um, all the little signs, um, the hints of um, trying to tear me down as an individual. So in, in, in hints of the time to tell, tear me down, um, just... Just in general, it was just totally uncalled for. I was in total awe and shocked every time I was pulled into a conference room. So you can understand why I did not want to meet with her specifically and other people because that's what those meetings were about. It was very abusive. Um, the other sign is uh, you experience blocked opportunities for promotions and positions in which you are skilled and qualified for. You guys, a lot of these people I saw moving up past me, well... I guess I was the gatekeeper in terms of when people, when new people were uh, coming to my group because I was the one that was selected to train them. And then all of a sudden I became the person uh, that didn't know what I was doing, but I would train these people, right? And I would see them gradually moving up to management, the same people. So um, yeah, when I sat down, um, when it came time to my review, it was always my attitude was the reason why I wasn't able to uh, get a promotion or... Um, I wasn't able to um, to move up within the company or within that department. So, uh, yeah, that was the excuse that was often given to me. It was my uh, behavior because now they've added behavior to uh, the review. I want you to comment in the comment section below if you've experienced where your workload or your peer review or your review with your manager is dependent upon your behavior. I'm just curious. I'm just trying to poll you guys to see if that is a huge factor in what you've been experiencing in terms of you not being able to level up. That went, The other thing that went hand in hand with that, you guys, was the merit increases, right? Um, again, merit increases were denied to me when companies the company was getting given out bonuses that we would get every year. Mine was always slashed, right? Because again, it pointed back to my behavior. Um, Someone felt that, you know, it was the way, oh, you guys, I will never forget this. Um, the manager that was really harassing me really, really bad. She was the reason why I had to go see a psychiatrist. 
Um, I remember she told me she had a nerve to quite quote Maya Angelou, Angelou to me. She said, it's not, and I do not beat me up for not saying this correctly. And you probably already know what I'm about to quote, but she said, it's not about what you say is how you make a person feel. Well, you know what? I can't help how you feel. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have, again, confidence within yourself and I make you feel a certain way, clearly what you're looking at when you're looking at me is telling you that you need to make a change of some sort. Again, help me with that quote from, from Maya below, but she had the nerve to quote that to me. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Also, what I experienced, you guys, was, um, and this is really over the top, was HR tampering with my human resources file. So um, we used to be given 360 reviews, right, where we, the people that we spent our days with, the people that we were in the trenches with doing work with, those were the people that were get, that would give feedback. Everyone I worked with loved me, right? They knew I was knowledgeable in what I was doing. I was able to offer support whenever they needed it. You guys... My 360s were absolutely phenomenal. What did HR do? Because that particular manager didn't like me. Well, they have the power of the button to erase all of those positive comments. But you know what I did, again, being a step ahead, was I printed up. Every time I had a review, I made sure I printed up that information because you guys with these computers nowadays, anyone can hit a button and remove everything. So cover yourself in that way. You guys always had, always have hard copies. Always. That is part of your documentation. Last but not least is blackballing. Um, you guys, I experienced that um, blackballing of a target to forcefully keep them stuck in a position or group so that the abuse can continue until the individual quits involuntarily. You guys, I applied. I took it upon myself each and every day to apply for another job within another department. I let my manager know. I said, look, <laughs> I'm applying for jobs and I need your support in helping me move because it's not working out in this department. Even though they seemed okay with it, they were not okay with it because the plan is to keep you there, to keep you there to use you up. So only do the work that is required of you. Nothing more, nothing less. Do what is required and that is it. Put your hours in. Don't try to put in extra hours. Do what is required to get you by because at the end of the day, I don't care if you went to the moon and came back down. They don't care if you are a target of workplace bullying abuse. It's nothing that you can do once you have hit the list. And when they're gunning for you, the only face on that target, the only face on that board at that target practice for them is you. So best believe you should be lining up someone and somewhere that is going to treat you a lot better. You guys, I hope this information has been helpful. I am all about making sure that you protect yourself and that you level up in any way possible because the sweetest revenge is mad success. And I'm here to support you in being successful. So stick to your grind, continue to document. You guys, let's continue to consult with each other and support each other in the comment section at bossupculture.org. Um, come to me if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching. I definitely offer that. If you are a company watching this video, you guys, this is the sign. These are the signs. And these are the signs that will bring your company down. These are the signs that you, when, in which you have good talent and they are walking away because they're being forced to walk away because of the parasites you have within your company. So again, consider this a warning because we are still working with legislation. And if you think workplace bullying abuse is not going to become illegal, well, think again. I told you at the top of this video, I'm always a step ahead. And I'm a step ahead in this instance. So I need you guys to come along with me. Join the movement at bossofculture.org. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Um, if you got to the end of this video, throw me some hearts in the comment section, you guys. I need all of your feedback. I need to know that this information is helping you. So comment, like, subscribe, all of that. Hit the bell notification. I'm trying to get the word to the masses. And I want you to help me do that. 
So I'm helping you. So help me. Good karma, you guys. I love you until next time. Take care. Bye.